So let's say two parents, right? Because I want to see how genetics plays into this. And there's mm -hmm. probably people that come up with this too. Let's say two Environment parents, matters. Mother and father, let's say, for lack of, let's say they're retarded. They're mm -hmm. dumb as, dumb mm -hmm. as hell. And they have a kid that's born on the seventh. I would say that child would have much more enhanced capabilities compared to his parents, but he probably will still have some, you know, genetic defects. I mean, listen, there's some numbers that are leaders. There's some numbers that are adaptive. There are some numbers who are comedians. The fact of the matter is this. If someone's born in uh, San Francisco, there's a good chance they're going to be a rainbow. If someone's born in uh, Mecca, there's a good chance they're going to be a Muslim. Environment matters. But here's the thing. That same three life path who's LGBT in San Francisco is going to be very talkative. He's going to be talking everything one about gay pride and all of this other nonsense. The Muslim who's a three life path, he's going to be talking about Allah all the time. You understand? They're, they're born in different places. They believe in different things but they're communicating. They're doing what the energy gives them. Does that make sense? Yes. That's consistent. That's all you can ask for, brother. So 2016, that happens. That's a huge event. Mm -hmm. Is that when you start to like make some real money? Because did you bet on I, 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 yeah, Yeah, I made a lot of money on that. Um... No, I started making real money before 216, say around 213. Because at this point in 2016, I I think that's the first time I had ever seen you on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And you probably got banned twice in that time. Well, got banned a lot of times, bro. 18 yep. times, I probably hold a record for being banned the most on Twitter. Why did they ban you that often? Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, Democrats. I'm not a fan of Black Lives Matter, I'm not a fan of homosexuals or their wokeness. And I tend to speak out. And Twitter used to be a very, very different place before Elon Musk bought it. Um, it was so bad in 2019 when it started. I couldn't use my real name. I, I, I used to go by North American Empire. I, I literally did not use my name until Elon, Elon Musk bought the company. Now I'm, I'm like at 80K, but I mean, I got 18 accounts suspended. Some of them back 20K, 30K. Um, but a lot of these accounts uh, that got suspended, they're still not back. I'm pro I would have definitely been at 500,000 if I never got suspended on Twitter. And one of the things that I saw on Twitter, even back then, is a lot of people were repping your hashtag. Mm-hmm. When did this start? What was your plan for corralling these people together? 2011, I started GG33. The reason I did it was because the century is imprinted with cat energy, and I decided that cat energy would be the best way to spread it. Uh, this year is the year of the cat, and I did blow up this year. So it's all consistent. Started the organization, waited till a certain year, went boom. Um, I could have done this a while ago, but I knew it would really hit hard in 2023, the year of the cat. Not just because of the cat energy, but also because it's the seven universal year cycle. So that type of helps people like to think. Even the NPCs like to think this year. You know, you're really going to find out who the NPCs are next year because they're going to forget all about numerology, astrology, go to the next thing. And then they'll be back in 2025, year of the snake. Um, it is what it is. But... I would probably say 2015 is when I got the first suspension and I basically paid someone off to get it back on. Again, you could do stuff like that in 215. Took me a while, but you know, I needed to get it back on. And um, at that point, I knew I would have problems in the future. So I changed strategy. Instead of focusing on me, Gary, the numbers guy, let's focus on the group. So let's get this straight. First of all, you knew you were going to have problems in the future because you didn't want to compromise what you were going to say. Yes. There's a lot of people, they'll get banned and they're like, OK. E ESPN uh, said they wanted to work with me, but I had to apologize for not supporting uh, gay marriage. 
I basically said this. So again, I, I am not compromising certain values. You know me well enough by now that to know I'm not going to do certain things. That's true. So going back to 215, I get my account back. And um, the rich people I was around back then were telling me, Gary, start focusing on yourself. Dump this GG33 stuff. Just go yourself. And I'm like, wait a second. I see where this is going. I see where the censorship is going because I'm already off Facebook and all this other shit. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to focus on the group. I'm going to build other people up. And that's exactly what I did. I literally built up every other numerologist on that numerology account. Um, it was numerology now. It's activated now, but it was deactivated for almost four years. And I built up every numerologist on that app with that account. And because when I was suspended, they would always tell people what my new account was. So within a day, I get 5,000 followers. So I did the, and I even had a website called find GG33. So whenever I got suspended, go to the website, find out what the new Twitter account was, boom. And believe me, I used to have a lot of these different phones around because I found out how Twitter works, could never use the same IP, could never use the same fucking uh, anything. So I literally had like 10 phones for a whole bunch of different accounts because I'd open a whole bunch of different accounts at the same time, prop one up with the other, expect one to be suspended, move shop over here. People think that shit's crazy, but it happened to me 18 times. Because of that happened, people in the Republican Party reached out to me and with help of how to get around Twitter. And that happened around 219, 218. So good things did come from it, which have actually helped me to this day. So again, it's always possible to turn a bad situation to a good situation. Just got to believe in this stuff. So it was the people that believed in numerology and astrology that wanted to rep you. Was there some sort of incentive? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the incentive was, you know, they were basically knew the truth. At that point, I wasn't really paying anyone at that point. They did it because they believed in it. It was only this year I started affiliate links. I never did that before. Now, obviously, money helped it blow up, no doubt. But, you know, there's other people who fucking do a lot worse than I do when it comes to stuff like that. So my stuff's actually organic. It just has capitalism backing it up. You know, I'm not like Andrew Tate, who's going to have 50,000 people putting up seven videos a day. That's what he did to get famous. I mean, think about it. 350,000 videos a day at his peak, and he only had a couple go viral. How could you not go viral at that point? That's another thing where I saw you again is, I don't know if it was 2017, 2018, but you had beef with Andrew Tate. Yeah, you remember that. Start? You remember that, right? I remember that vividly, yeah. Bro, I was bigger than him back then. He would go after me. It started because he was mad. I gave him a reading, told him he would blow up in 2022, the year of the tiger, because he's born in 1986, the year of the tiger. I put up proof so people see it. And um, about, I don't know, six weeks after, somewhere around that area, he DM'd me and I showed people proof. And he asked me if uh, I would help him sell his pimp horse. He'll give me 50%, make 25K. I'm like, no, bro. I got fucking a bag. I mean, I'm, I'm not fucking rich as hell back then, but. I got a bag. I'm not fucking pimping horse. I said no within a, a month or two. He just fucking went off on me. He basically thought I was a soft target. He could go after. And uh, he did eventually get me suspended. But I did promise I fucking hollered back at him. And uh, let's just put it this way. In 2022, when no one knew he had kids, I knew he had kids. And I went on the biggest uh, TikTok show I could find. Some kids with 10 million followers. It got like 300,000 uh, views. Uh, the TikToks got 10 million views or something like that. And I basically said Andrew Tate had a whole bunch of kids with a whole bunch of different baby mamas. No one knew that at that time. But I had people inside the war room. So I leaked it. So he had to go on Aiden Ross and tell everybody because it was fucking going out so hard. Um, not to mention I built a fucking Twitter following off his bitch ass. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, afterwards... 
I basically said he get arrested by the end of the year. Talked to a few people in the know, figured a few things out. Saw that America was sending um, Romania Abrams tanks. Interesting how the first time Romania got Abram, Abrams tanks in the same month, Tate's uh, compound gets raided for the first time. And when they get another shipment in December of 2022, he gets arrested fully. So again, um, I don't think he's guilty of what they say he is. He's guilty of being a dumbass. <laughs> he's guilty of that. He wants to rep the Quran and then go back to Romania, a 95% Christian nation. They, they looked at it like he was spitting in their face. Number two, you want to talk shit about Greta? You want to talk shit about the Rothschild's granddaughter? Send her a pizza box, which is basically means you're threatening her. You can get taken out within 24 hours. They should have kept their mouth shut. But when it comes down to Andrew Tate, you have to understand this. He's a hustler. He's a good salesman. I mean, no one can fucking deny that. He's one of the best salesmen of this century. But he's a con man at the end of the day. When, when it suits him to be Christian, he'll be Christian. When it suits him to be Muslim, he'll be Muslim. When it suits him to be a pimp, he'll be a pimp. He went after Sneeko for fucking hang out OnlyFans girls. This is a guy who used to fucking type on the keyboard talking to men. They're thinking they're talking to a bitch. I mean, and he had the audacity to go after someone else. It's like, are you fucking real, dude? At the end of the day, I don't have much respect for him. I respect his mouthpiece, but not him too much. Because what is he? He's a glorified pimp. He made his money being a pimp. Now he's trying to tell other people he's too good for that, trying to tell other people not to do it, but he's a glorified pimp himself. I mean, think about it. Did he make it because of his athletic you know, attributes? Yeah, he's a champion, but he didn't make any money off that. He didn't have any clout off that. Did he make money off like anything else? No, he did it off the oldest profession in the world, being a pimp. There's plenty of OnlyFans managers out there nowadays. What he's doing is not that special. This is not someone you can look up to. Now, do I agree with seventy uh, percent as much? And tell yeah, fuck the government. And what do you? I need Andrew Tate to tell me that. I mean, th I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's offensive that he's famous. It's straight up offensive that a piece of garbage like that is famous. So, um, give me the 2025. We'll see how I fucking go out there. It's my first year out here. I got a billion views. We'll see what we do till 2025. You're talking about conspiracies a lot, or you tie them in. Which ones do you actually believe in? If I'm saying it, I believe in almost all of them. You know, I might be saying something cute about Flat Earth, but I'll let the other fucking people take care of that one. Almost everything I like, for instance, uh, John F. Kennedy, born on the 29th. He's born. He's a seven life path, born in the year of the snake. Those type of energies basically tell me he would be into numerology and astrology. Uh, what makes me know he was into numerology and astrology was the fact that he signed Executive Order 11110. Again, think about it. 1111 110. He waited to that executive order. He signed it at 6 4 1963. 6-4-1963 adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. So he signed an executive order 11 11 on an 11 day. He's born on the 29th, 2 and 9 is 11. And that stripped the Federal Reserve of the power to print money. He did that. What happened to him six months later? He died. He died. And Lyndon Johnson. The guy who replaced him, before the body was even cold, his first act as president, repeal executive order 11110. Give the Fed back their power. So, uh, again, man, is that a conspiracy? No, that's fact. How do you deny that? You have to be an absolute fucking moron. You want more fact? Okay, John F. Kennedy born in the year of the snake. 1917, who was his biggest enemy? CIA. CIA was founded 1947, you're the pig. Who killed his ass? CIA. George W. Bush got some fucking mobsters who they thought were working with the CIA, but they ended up being patsies. 
The CIA used mobsters as patsies to kill the fucking president. They thought they were taking the shot when an actual person within the CIA was taking the shot. Look at the video when John, John F. Kennedy gets shot. The Secret Service agent in his detail gets called off. And he doesn't understand what's going on. They call him off. At that time, who controlled the Secret Service? It's not true anymore, but at that time, it was run by the Treasury Department. Treasury, money, <laughs> Fed. The Fed controlled the Secret Service. And they killed him at Dallas, right by a Masonic temple. Interesting how that works. So again, you people want to say that it's a conspiracy. I, I say you're out your fucking mind. That shit's real. So do people ever come to you to engineer an outcome? So let's say someone listens to you. He marries on this date and this number. I have plenty of kids. Someone's like, hey. I have plenty of kids. I, I'm their godfather because they fucking are conceived on the day I told them to. Plenty of kids out there like that. What about on the birth date? So let's say someone wants an 11. Isn't that some, th something you can't really choose? Why? Why can't you choose? I did. Why can't you choose? Well, isn't there like a nine-month cycle that has to happen? Well, well yeah. Well, you, you just do the math. You know it's going to be nine months. You know it's a two-week period between that nine, month, not nine months. Within that two-week period, almost every, every number exists. So it can't be a natural birth. Oh, I mean, I, I never, I didn't have any natural births. I followed the royal family. I had C-sections. You know, um, I didn't force my wife to have C-sections. This is something she wanted to, but that was kind of part of the deal when you got married to me. We're gonna have kids on certain days, and it's worked out great. Two healthy kids. My kid in fifth grade just got the highest IQ test in his class. So again, it it, it worked. I knew what I was doing. My other kid, um, he's born on the 28th. Listen to this. When he was one years old, I put a dower, a five, a 10, a 20, a 50, and a 100 on the table. I'm like, go pick one. He went straight for the 100. <laughs> proud, proud of his son because a 28 should energetically know. Just like Elon Musk is born on the 28th. Just like six of the richest 23 men in the world are born on the 28th. And you know the thing about truth? It passes the test of time. Who was the richest guy last decade? Bill Gates, born on the 28th. Carlos Slim had it at least one year. Mexico, born on the 28th. Oh, fuck, does a guy in Mexico fucking make that much money? Born on the 28th. I mean, if you want to keep it real, I've talked to people who are uh, the sons of people in drug cartels born on the 28th. Is there a difference between a male number and sign and a female number and sign? Uh, I mean, yeah, well, say someone, if someone's a five life path and five is the number of good looks. OK, um, I don't have too many fives in me, but my wife does. <laughs> so when it comes down to it, um, you would expect women and guys who have those type of energy to be attractive. The thing is, a woman who's attractive, and again, we, this goes into the environment thing, can do a lot more with good looks than the guy who's attractive. The only thing a guy who's attractive can get, you know, is probably laid a few more times than other guys. A woman who's attractive, shit, she can get billions, finds the right person. I mean, hell, uh, Jeff Bezos left his wife for some fucking broad. <laughs> she got oh, billions. Too. Yeah, older one too. She's kept her body in shape though. That's true. Yo, Jeff Bezos, if you're listening, uh, you did a lot of good things in your life, but you're born in the year of the cat and you left your wife, Mackenzie, for a cat. Excuse me, for a rooster. Cat and rooster are enemy signs, so you fall for lust, my friend. I think that's a good spot to cut it. Good? Yeah, it's perfect.